Uh, I'm um, Elena Poptodorova. I'm the Bulgarian ambassador to uh, the United States of America. Uh, also a member of the advisory board of the Institute for Cultural Diplomacy, uh, which is a great institution and I love uh, doing that job. It is a very valuable addition to my professional duties. So happy to be part of it, uh, which also gives me an opportunity to talk to you and to your audience. Um, it always questions are shorter than the answers. Uh, this is why cultural diplomacy has come so very much to the front line and to the fore uh, because uh, obviously uh, traditional um, political means have not been sufficient to uh, cope with uh, a new uh, threat and a new risk to human lives and this is terrorism. Um, as it was mentioned during our discussions here, of course, education is uh, very important. That's key. Um, and it should be done, uh, educational programs, they should be carried out. They should be done by uninterested parties. I very much believe in uh, um, education educators, let me put it this way, educators who do not have an ulterior motive uh, in, uh, in uh, uh, expressing certain views and, and uh, in uh, teaching or educating other groups. That's not easy to find today because uh, unfortunately there is a lot of bias and a lot of partisanship, uh, uh, vested interests. Um, so this is the first thing, how do we select uh, the educators or who selects them? Uh, that's, uh, that's a tough one. Um, besides education, I would also say inclusion. Um, I believe that radical groups should not be kind of written off as uh, uh, no-go uh, from the very start. That's very, very complicated. Again, I realize what I'm saying, but the, the, uh, inroads must be found, uh, at least for communication. It, it's a long, it's a long uh, uh, path to cover. It, it, it's not uh, a miracle uh, uh, solution or a, a miracle exercise. Um, we, and then we have to know what the goal is. If the goal is to, to bring in people to, to have violence abate and uh, terrorism abate, then we have to be prepared for a long a long run, a long a marathon. This is what interfaith dialogue is all about. It's another new phrase, a coined phrase. Uh, it's just talking to people. We have to be able to talk to one another. And um, I believe through relaxed, uh, open communication, we are bound to succeed more than uh, with uh, confrontation. And you know that uh, Bulgaria has always supported Turkey's bid for the European Union. Uh, we, we are together there, not just because of a common border, but because of common past and I hope common future as well. In our globalized world, a conflict, a conflict anywhere can generate conflict everywhere. In times of unprecedented communication, opportunities, interconnectedness, and migration, the risks to peace also lie in the inequalities, fanaticism, and marginalization of vulnerable groups, as well as the rejection and ignorance of other cultures, together with their traditions, beliefs, and history. I think what's important is once we've uh, kind of uh, stated uh, the, the, the um, official uh, lines or the, the um, necessary lines, we have to talk. I think talking is to one another is essential and it does not necessarily mean to happen in lofty political terms or philosophical terms. It has this, this dialogue, this talking to one another, it should always be down to earth. It should be grounded in our lives. We have to talk about our lives, how we live and why some people do one thing, other people do a different thing. This is why, uh, and then again I mentioned this yesterday, uh, but I had no time to expound. I mentioned the, the, the danger of fundamentalism. But believe me, I don't mean religion only. Uh, fundamentalism can be a way of thinking of everybody of us. We may be, I may be fundamentalist about the way I see the running of this embassy 
and I may not even be prepared to listen to, to my staff. I'm trying to bring it really down to very simple um, uh, uh, thoughts. So the more we are prepared to, 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 to accept the reasoning of, of others, at least consider it, and then try to say our own, that, that's a, 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 major, a major step forward. So to me, fundamentalism has always been, I'm afraid. I, I literally, physically fear fundamentalism because I, can, I have no plane, of no, no level of, of, of communication uh, uh, if I'm faced with that. The other thing which I believe is important, uh, and it's a great, another great Anglo-Saxon uh, kind of uh, wisdom, the excellent is the enemy of the good. We have to reach for the best and, and have to be ambitious in trying to achieve it. But we should also know that a good, a good progress, a good level of progress is as valuable as our final goal and that a final goal can never be achieved all at once. So uh, I'm trying to always remember uh, this uh, very, very practical, very useful uh, um, wisdom that we have to be realistic and, and plan accordingly.